that was not like Jam motherfucking day doing i hope you're doing well please find me on these social media platforms and follow me especially firework it's brand new i am a brand ambassador and i am trying to promote it it is kind of like vine and musically had a baby without the idiots and mean people so far <laughs> so anyway guys today is a story about when i used to teach nursing school if you didn't know yes i'm a registered nurse and i have a master's degree in healthcare education and i used to teach at a nursing school i do not miss it i have to say i don't think it was a good fit i don't really know how to explain it it's just that i have a very low tolerance for bullshit and the bullshit was off the charts at nursing school a lot of politics a lot of things between the teachers a lot of favoritism in the staff like people getting promoted to jobs that they shouldn't have and getting skipped over and other people having to do the shit work while other people didn't do half a shit and i, I just don't miss it plus teaching adults is for the fucking birds <laughs> you think teaching kids is bad no try to teach some adults anyway i will put a playlist down below about nursing and teaching nursing and being a nurse and all of that stuff there's some funny stories in there and there's also some not so funny stories but I just thought about this the other day and I've had a lot of requests from people to talk about nursing school and being a teacher in a nursing school so here you go this was on a test day and test day in nursing school is stressful for everyone it is stressful for the students of course but it is stressful I was going to say just as stressful for the teachers, but I can't really say that. But I, all I can say is that test day in nursing school is like a war zone. The teachers are going to defend their test questions and the answers, and the students are going to do everything in their power to find loopholes on why certain questions should be thrown out or why this question shouldn't have been worded this way or it should have been worded that way or whatever. There's certain objectives you have to meet with every test. There's certain skill levels. And in nursing school, Pretty much every question on the test has multiple answers that are right, but you have to pick the most right answer. And I know that sounds insane, but if you're in nursing school, you know what I'm talking about. And if you plan to go to nursing school, you will figure it out. As you know, life is not A and B. Life is not black and white. And so, yeah, every day, especially as a nurse, there's multiple correct answers, but you have to know like what is the first thing that priority tells me that I need to do. So, test day, not a good day. Not a good day for anybody, okay? But we had a particular student who, a lot of times you would get students and you would be like, how did this person even get into this school? We would have wonderful students and then every now and then, it seemed like every semester, there was one that you were just like, how did this person even get in here? And this was this particular student. And not only is it enough for somebody to just be, I'm just gonna say it because it can't come back on me and I don't care if I sound like a bitch. Not is this person like delusional that they're in nursing school like there's no way you're gonna finish this if you're having this much trouble in these lower levels which was what I taught I taught the first and second semester if you're having this much trouble in these lower levels how the fuck do you think you're gonna graduate much less pass the state board how are you gonna pass that to become a nurse but anyway I digress so test day so they've already taken the test and now we're doing test review. And during test review is when they're supposed to be learning like why certain answers were right and why their answers were wrong. That's what you're supposed to be learning in test review. But no, in test review, students were busy just tallying up what they got wrong, what they got right, and then zoning in on what they got wrong and figuring out what loophole they're gonna argue with you during test review. So this one girl, let's just call her Donna. Donna decides she's gonna start arguing test questions but she doesn't just argue test questions she's super pissed and she's doing all this and the other teacher that I was teaching with let's just call her Julie and Julie's doing all that. They're back and forth and I'm just standing there like okay because th this was like right when I got there maybe a semester after and this girl is just fussing about this test question and Julie is just zinging back at her with why the question is gonna remain and why the answer is correct and I'm just standing there and they're going back and forth and Julie finally just cuts her off and is like I am your professor 
and she was getting ready to say something else but Donna cut her off and said which I pay you for that that was not like whew. when I was in nursing school I would have never talked to my instructor that way or my professor I would never have fucking dared like when they said jump I asked how high now students of today don't see the world that way and there's no way to make them see it that way do you do I think you should be treated badly no do I think you should sit there and let us just talk to you however we want no but at the same time okay yeah you paid to come here but you paid for the opportunity to come here you didn't pay to come here for me to just let you slide through and become a nurse and go off and kill people because you can't fucking listen and you think you're right about everything that's not how it works Donna when Donna said that which I pay you for the class went silent I mean it, the, why are there crickets because there were no crickets there were no cr stop the cricket there were no crickets there was dead fucking silence I don't think I even breathed and Julie looked at her and took a step forward she said then I need a raise now may I continue since I'm the one with the degrees and the whole class was like Whoa. needless to say Donna did not stay in class. She decided maybe like two days later that she was going to drop out, which was a gift to us as instructors because what the fuck, Donna? I don't know. There are some that slipped through the cracks and it always bothered me because I knew there were other people that really wanted to go to nursing school who were willing to dig in and do the work, but somebody like Donna was taking their spot. It was a sad situation, but whew, I'm glad I don't do that anymore. That was just stressful every fucking day. I know that I'm making people not want to go to nursing school, but trust me, you should. It is a wonderful career, and there are so many things you can do with a nursing diploma or nursing degree, but nursing school fucking sucks. There's no other way to describe it. You just gotta do it, get through it, and then short-term pain for long-term gain. That's the only way I can explain it. So guys, that's my story today about nursing school. I hope you enjoyed it. Please give this video a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And if you have, thank you so much. Please make sure you click the little bell icon down below so it will tell you every time I put up a new video. I do videos on Tuesdays and Saturdays. And I try to do a vlog on Fridays. So I hope you will come back and join me next time. Have a great day. I love you. Bye. Plus, he had a car full of his friends. And you're in your at this point in your 60s and, and you had me. <laughs> so I was like, no, dad, no.